What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. Thank you so much for everyone who is tuning into this video where I will be giving you guys five easy steps to prepare for King's Fall hard mode coming up this Friday, October 23rd at 10 a.m. My apologies for a couple days without videos, my friends. I bombarded you guys with so many videos last week and I was a little busy with work and everything else, but I'm back and at the same time I'm trying to prepare myself for the hard raid as well so I thought why not give you guys some pointers and hey these are steps you guys probably already know and if you do congratulations but there is a vast majority of guardians out there that are just you know trying to get better and you can't hate them for it keep it up guardians keep trying to get better anyways let's get straight into it first off my friends bungie has stated that the recommended light level is 310 plus nowadays you're like oh my goodness how the hell am i gonna get to 310 i've truly seen nobody on my friends list and i have about 300 plus friends be 310 light i just haven't seen it if you guys have seen it let me know because if you're 310 light i want to be your friend because you're awesome because i'm not even close to that yet but guys personally i would recommend 308 light plus i think you'll be fine if you can do that for yourself um and keep in mind also that once you do the hard mode raid the beginning parts of the raid are probably going to be a lot easier than the later on parts right like Golgoroth or Oryx or even the daughters might be a little bit more difficult this time so keep in mind that there will be loot drop along the way given that you may receive light gear that can be 320 light um you know just dropping along the way and that way you your level can actually increase uh while you're in the raid so that's why I recommend 308 light 308 light will give you that chance to continue to get higher light along the way. The next thing I recommend is make sure you guys have the correct weapons. Now I say this because I am very very bad. Very very bad. I repeat I am very very bad at doing the quest lines, getting all that stuff done, you know, for the sleeper simulant, the black spindle, the touch of mouse. I've gotten it done, but I'm very bad. Like, I've just recently got that done. I haven't even gotten my touch of malice yet. You guys are like, what the heck? You've made videos on it. Well, yeah, that's because I have a younger brother who does everything in Destiny. And, you know, with a full-time job, it's kind of difficult. But it's all there. It's just the last step that I haven't gotten done because I just haven't felt the need. I don't really need those weapons for what Bungie has presented to us right now. But for the hard mode raid, given that my team and I are going to try to be world's first, we definitely want the best weapons so definitely recommend having those weapons um and hey guys if you get 310 weapons or armor keep in mind that you can just infuse it with your legendary gear that you have or the other weapons that you have like the red death or something and get it to 310 light so grind my friends the three of coins is prime use go watch my three of coins video and farm those exotics i have the best farm location where you can get double exotic drops i'll put that link in the description below for you guys to see but go get it done i have guides on how to get the sleeper simulant i have the guide of how to get the black spindle actually i may not have that guide out yet but i will get it out for you guys and now with the new pulse rifle no time to explain what i really don't got time to explain man there's so many good things in destiny really prop big props to bungie for doing that uh okay step number three so step number one was your light level two was correct weapons step three is know the normal mode of king's fall raid everyone should know that by now by the way but i recommend you guys know multiple roles like if you know you should know how to catch Golgoroth's gaze efficiently you should know how to be the runner for the daughters the runner the relic runner for oryx like you should know all the different roles okay learn those roles be very familiar with it because hard mode is just going to be a few things this is just speculation obviously but it's just going to be few things that are just going to be a little bit more difficult by the way you guys we get some awesome drops from this nightfall so keep keep watching keep watching okay so uh yeah just no normal mode like the back of your hand my friends all right step number three i don't know why i stopped uh popped it three coins yeah i don't even know if it did work or not but who cares i popped it anyways step number three um is sorry step number four is 
having a functional team. Man, oh man, this that can mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. For me, that means you have a team that cooperates, that listens, that doesn't get mad over everything. Oh yeah, check it out. I got the little the little see-through drape thingies. I don't even know what to call it. I don't I don't want to call it by its name. That's why I want to call it. It's so awesome. And I think everyone on my team actually got that drop, which was insane. Uh, and I'll also show you guys my rewards as well. But functional team, my friends, get positive people. Remember, gaming is about having fun. Get people around you that are going to be positive along the way, that are going to be there by your side. They're gonna, they're not going to be insane. The definition of insanity is doing something that's the, over and over and over again, expecting a different outcome when you're failing in the first place. God damn it! Make sure you have bendable, flexible teammates that are going to be positive, that are going to help you along the way. All right. And the last step, my friends, step number five, go, go make those friends, go make those light level 310 friends, go make those friends that know what they're talking about. Like if you have a good personality, I don't care if you suck, man, I, I'll play with you. That's awesome. Just man, make those good friends network. So then you can help them, them out and they can help you out. And it's a mutual beneficial relationship in a video game yes in a video game because this video game is awesome i love it you love it if you didn't love it you wouldn't be here or maybe you're just here to hate on me i don't know i don't care as long as you guys are happy i love you no matter what so please if you haven't hit a thumbs up beatbox that thumbs up button uh that like button on this video it helps a lot and if you haven't joined the tko gaming family join the damn family baby we're waiting for you to join See you guys in the live stream. Links in the description below. Stay blessed. I'll see you next time. Peace.